Okay, so from a big brother to an exciting new dance piece. It's called uh, Gutter. It's uh, by Eileen McClory. And I'm pleased to say Eileen joins us now in the studio. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm good, yeah. Good to see you. You got very excited by Craig there, didn't you? I did. I did. I'm a top fan. I follow him on Facebook and stuff. So did you watch Big Brother from the start then as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd, the first series of Big Brother was just the best yeah. for me. They were just, just normal people just going about their day. Like, how is that interesting? But it was just There's something about it. You had uh, Tyrone Tom. Yes. Remember him? Oh, my God, yes. You had Anna Nolan, the nun. Yes. And you had Nasty, Nasty Nick yes. as well. There you go. Nasty Nick. Yeah. yeah, but of course you don't get days like that. No. It is back, but it's not really the same, is it? Yeah, but then they had Celebrity Big Brother. Yes. And I got well into that. Yeah. Because that was just like chaos. Do you know? It, it was. was. Just, it was just craziness. And it was almost like some kind of a social experiment. Yes. That's right. Like my husband would be like, why are you watching that? I'm like, I'm obsessed. <laughs> it was just to see where people put themselves in these positions. And it was almost like torture in a way. Yeah. You know, because they were set up in a way for failure, but... It's great TV. <laughs> Who's your favourite contestant of all time? Mine had to be Nikki Graham, who's sadly no longer I with know, us. But Nikki, Nikki was lovely, wasn't she? Nikki. I loved Brian. Yes. Brian Dowling. Yes. Him. Yeah. I loved Brian. That, I liked that. That series was really, was great fun. And then I think my favourite celebrity one. Oh, there's too many. There is, isn't there? There's too many, yeah. Rula Lenska and your man doing the cat thing. Do you remember that? Oh, God, yes. Awful, awful oh. TV to watch, wasn't it? Toe curling. It was, yeah. But can't stop watching it. Anyway, you've got to come on the Big Brother podcast with me. Oh my God. As well. <laughs> we'll get you on that. Oh we'll get God. you on that yes. definitely and talk about the new one. Anyway, going to talk about your exciting new yes. dance show, yes. which is part of the Belfast International Arts Festival. It's all about journalism mm -hmm. and stuff. Tell us all about it. So um, it's called Gutter yeah. and it is part of the Belfast Festival um, and it's commissioned by the festival as well as part of their Artist in Residence programme, which I was in 2020. And it explores um, modern, modern day journalism, broadcast journalism and the kind of the murky depths of um, the cutthroat nature of a trend, trying to get that next story and which is more important. Is it the ratings? Is I, it the free speech? Is yeah. it the free press and, and, and the content? How are you going to get on social media? How are you going to get on those, those kind of platforms? So we kind of explore that. <laughs> the timing is kind of right when you think about what's happening on things like GB News yeah, and yeah, yeah, the yeah. things that's happening with Russell Brand and stuff at the minute as well, isn't it? And yeah, and it's almost like, I mean, I couldn't have predicted a better, a better thing to happen <laughs> just before my show opens. <laughs> But it's almost like when I started thinking about the show a few years ago, it was I looked I was looking into more tabloids, so more yes. press. Yeah. And we were looking into like Daily Mail or things like the Mur the Murdoch Media, I guess. And then the more we kind of researched the show, it 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 kind of went into the broadcast nature of it and yeah. the sensationalist kind of nature of news now and and the breakout channels. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And just the. We kind of looked at the integrity. Is where's our integrity gone in the news? Yeah. And who are we letting come exactly. on? Yes. It's not yeah. lost on me that I'm sitting here <laughs> talking to you. Do you know? So how do we take this then and transform this into, into dance. dance then? So we, um, I'm working with a really incredible performer, Kevin Coquillar from France, and he becomes our host. And we kind of see him and his journey um, from a very young pup, I guess, um, to to you know getting more notoriety and and more fame and then realizing he has to do more and more things but it's also the real things about its manipulations which power it's about power as well so it's not just kevin that we're watching we're watching kevin listen to his producer ah. and we're watching kevin play to a camera and we're watching kevin play to his audience and it just gets more and more entertainment and it's abstract in its okay. nature so um we see kevin conduct conduct a debate yeah with lots of spicy, spicy words um, that we've taken from a good morning breakfast. Good morning breakfast. Yeah. Uh, we've taken about the Guy Lineker thing where we, but they, they, it was just a brilliant debate. So we see, it's almost like he sparks the fires and lets it yes, go. Yes, yeah. He has a class little waltz with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bit bonkers, but it's, yeah. it makes, it, it follows this progression of a person getting more and more famous and having to do more and more things but not being in control 
who to should, stay Who there. should come and see this then? Should journalists, should people in news come to see this or are we going to be scared watching this? No, no, because it's, it's not just, um, I guess, we're not attacking anybody. Okay. We're not pointing fingers. It's just um, observation. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of like where I see what kind of what's happening to the news and, and then we almost see this character rise up and then we also see his demise. Yeah. So in a way he's like a metaphor for the big conglomerates that are growing and growing in power but at some point as we see with what's happening now with these voice, you yeah. know, these big strong voices, they're, if things are starting to fall, fall down, the bricks are coming down. Yeah. So that's kind of what happens to our host. So it's some, for everybody. It's something a little bit different. So do, do we have a good dance scene here in Northern Ireland then? It's very small. Our yeah. dance scene's very small, but it's growing. Um, it's, it's, we had the, the brilliant Una Doherty, who's internationally acclaimed choreographer. And she's, what she's done is be able to put Northern Ireland on the, on the map as a producer of dance. And the festival are super supportive of dance. I think they're the main promoter mm -hmm. and producer of dance. Um, and I think what we what we have is a very small network of dancers, of dance makers. But we we are we there's no like lack of talent here. And um, I think that we just need to build up the infrastructure for dance to grow, and and for more people to come and see dance shows. Um, and then it will get bigger and bigger. But this show's for everybody. Yeah. Like it's funny. It's dark. It's provocative, it's entertaining, it's 50 minutes and it's over in a blink. Wow. It's really, re yeah, it's really great. And Kevin is incredible. He has you in the, in the palm of his hand throughout the whole show. It's on at the Mac, which of course is yes, a really good dance space, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I was really supported by the Mac through my major award. They, I was able to have um, four weeks of studio space. And for us as dancers as well, because that's one thing that we don't really have enough of is really great studios for professionals to use. So I was able to use the Mac and we had a great time. A really, Brilliant. really great time there. Give us the dates. How do we get tickets? How do you get tickets? So you get tickets um, on the Mac website and on the Belfast Festival website. And it's on the 28th and the 29th of October. And there's two shows on the 29th. Brilliant. It sounds amazing. The thank best you. of luck with it. Thank and you thank much. you for coming in. We have to come see it. I will come and see it, definitely. <laughs> I will be there. Brilliant.